is going up. That right there was a Half-Life announcer alarm that I made myself using Audacity. Audacity, if you don't know, is a great audio editing program that I used to make that. If you don't have it, download it at web.audacityteam.org. Click the little button. It'll take you this, to this site. I already have it installed, though, so I don't want to do this. You've got Audacity open. This looks confusing, but it's very easy to do. First, what you've got to do is locate your Half-Life files, Steam, and you'll need to go to Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. Once you're in there, you go to Valve, Sound, then you scroll all the way down to Vox. And here what you'll see is a bunch of sound files. They just look like random words, and that's because they are. And they're every word that the announcer has said, including funny words, like ass. <laughs> and, uh, well, basically what we're going to do is edit these into whatever you want. All right, so you, uh... You have all your words and you have audacity. How do we get these together? It's very easy. What you do is you find a word you like that you want to put in this, right? Like maybe uh Hello. You just need to drag it over here and you'll see a little sound wave come up. And you can play it inside of Audacity now. Hello. And there you go, there's your sound file. But we want more words, right? So you can take more words and do it the same way. Hello, Freeman. And now you've got it both in Audacity. Hello. But that's both words at once. That's not what we want. Now what you need to do is select what you want to move. Here I'll select this by dragging, clicking and dragging on the waveform. And then you press Control X. Click where you want it, like in the uh, time scale here. I want it here after hello, so I click there. And then hit Control V, and you've copy pasted it where you want. Now let's play the file. Hello, Freeman. Hello, Freeman. Ha. <laughs> and now you've got your sound together. Hello, Freeman. And we want to get it out of Audacity, right? So you go from file. Whoops. Export audio. Then put it wherever you want. I, I want to name it plus 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 plus. No. There we go. And now it's done. Now, when you export, you might want it to be an MP3 file, and it'll tell you it needs a lame ENC.dll, and it will have a little download link for the DLL that it needs, right? So you go to the website, and you might not know what to do. What you need to do is you go all the way down here to download lame and FFmpeg for Windows. Click links below. Then you click on the zip option down here. Lib mp3 lame win 3993.zip. You click on it. Then you extract it anywhere you want, browse to the file, and hit OK. And that should be it. Let's play the file that we made in this. Hello, Freeman. And 
there you go. You can also put it into uh, any alarm software you want if it supports uh, adding any alarms with custom sounds. I personally have this one. So I can browse to the file. Hello, Freeman. Okay, and this is allowed, this is uh, added to my alarm.